Pokemon has hit us with a brand new trailer today. It shows a whole lot of stuff. It's only three and a half minutes long, uh, but they do reveal quite a bit in this trailer to the point where I wanted to watch it together. Um, and after, we'll actually go a little bit more in depth on the new Pokemon they show and kind of talk more about, uh, you know, just the details about them. Um, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and take a look here. Now, this came out at about 6 a.m. this morning. I have seen it. Um, but I wanted to kind of watch it with you guys, hear your thoughts, what you got to say. Slowbro slow bro and Slowpoke are back. It's all we needed to do. Pa turn the video off. Um, we got a new crab Pokemon. We got two new Mega Man looking ass Pokemon. Pretty interesting. Didn't get a good look at them there. Um, but of course, we'll see, some, we'll see some more of those dudes. Rebellious students that were introduced to the new evil team. They are basically just bad students. <laughs> team Star. Um, quite the quite the troublemakers there. That's kind of interesting. Um, you'll actually see here. So you notice the Makahita and the Orikiri are fighting three of the three Pokemon there. So interesting a little horde horde action. So here's um, we've seen picture. We've seen a little bit of that car before. Uh, people speculated that it was going to be the evil teams which it is now something that's also interesting about this section here you'll notice so that the the engine of this car kind of sticks out a little bit a lot of people talked about this particular like this particular thing maybe even being a new like steel type pokemon um i would believe it here's a little bit of a closer look it looks like that that's got to be a, a pokemon there's there's no doubt about it potentially like a poison steel type could be really cool i have no idea um as they don't really talk about it in this but just something I figured I'd throw out there real quick. So he like you like battle from the car, which is kind of cool. Everything seems very motor based. We get a new crab Pokemon. Let's go. He's amazing, and I will cherish him forever. Uh, a lot of new character designs. I think they did really good with these. Talking about hats. Um, so yeah, more of like kind of a desert crab guy, and then there's just a big homie on the rock. This guy's already Dynamaxed. Cloth is... Cloth says, get out of the way, Kingler. There's a new crab in town, boy. That little Sprigatito does not stand a chance. Um, we got the Victory Road, take on the Gym Leaders. Another new amazing character design. The League Chairwoman, really cool. And here we have access to a gym test. Now this is kind of just similar to like a, a, a gym quest, kind of like Gen 7. I guess you gotta just go do something, you round up all the Sunfloor. I don't know why they brought Sunfloor back into the game, to be honest. Uh, but sun, Sunfloor is there. Yeah, that's cool. And that's another thing you get access to seeing, is all the Pokemon you see in the background are confirmed in the game. I think we see a few later on. Uh, look at the texture on this Sudowoodo. Guy looks, guy looks a little weird, but cool, I guess. Pokemon really wanted to show off their tree textures. Um, so he's going to use the new battle gimmick and actually turn this thing into a grass type like he meant to be. So poor Sudowood Oak finally gets to be a real tree. You love to see it. Um, but overall, super well done trailer in my opinion. I really like it. We've got uh, Cyclozar action we've already seen. Uh, there's a jump left. There's a Salamence, a Kamala there. Really cool. And here's the Mega Man dudes. Straight up Mega Man. Looks like... Reminds me of Tapu Koko, at least the yellow one. Um, so you get a brief glimpse at those Pokemon, but we'll take a, a closer look here in a moment. Um, so I'm really happy with this trailer. Always fun when they show you new stuff, new Pokemon. I think the new Pokemon designs are actually pretty good. There's not really... You know, I don't have any qualms with it. I think they've done a really good job with the new Pokemon. So, of course, seeing the new Pokemon is my favorite part about these new trailers. Luckily, over on the Pokemon website, we actually have access to the entire Pokemon roster of the new generation Pokemon that they've revealed so far. Uh, so we're just going to take a little bit of a closer look at some of the Pokemon that we saw today. Of course, this has um, everything we've been revealed. Um, but we're going to focus on our main three. So, first of all, we have Armor Rogue. Armor Rouge? We got, you got this dude who looks like straight up Tapu Koko, looking pretty wild. I really like this design. Um, straight up Mega Man though, which is kind of interesting. In the trailer we did see him shooting projectiles out of his out of his arms. Um, but really cool kind of aesthetic. He's got like the whole knight 
his shining armor thing going on. Uh, but more importantly, we get access to its typing, we get its ability. So fire psychic typing is actually really cool. Um, it's a powerful offensive typing, I believe. It seems like this Pokemon would be more defensive just by the looks of it. Um, also, taking in consideration its counterpart. Um, but Fire Psychic is a really unique typing. I can only really think of, what, like Delphox, um, which is booty anyway. So, always enjoy a new typing along with it's got the Flash Fire ability. Pretty standard, nothing too crazy there. Um, but the design in general of this guy is really cool. Um, you can read uh, quite a bit about it, but we're just going to kind of talk about it does get access uh, to a new move called Armor Cannon, just straight up launches my dude's armor. I believe we actually did see it using that, as you can see in the pictures here, but uh, Fire Special Move, in which Armor uh, moves both of its pauldrons to its hands and puts its arm together to form a cannon, allowing it to shoot its own armor out as blazing projectiles. One of the more powerful moves that Armor Oak can learn, but it lowers uh, its defenses and special defense stats in exchange for that power. So, it's essentially like a, a special attacking close combat, which is really cool. Of course, we don't have any insights on what type the move is or any base power or anything. Um, but is really cool to at least see uh, a new move here. And I'm, a, I'm, I'm not usually a fan of these like humanoid Pokemon, uh, but in my opinion, this guy's really cool. I like its typing. Not sure how well it's gonna work as a defensive Mon, if that's what it, this thing is set to be, which we're not you know, obvi obviously sure. Um, but in my opinion, it seems like he's gonna be a, a defensive Pokemon, but really cool. Uh, moving on, we're going to take a look at my dude's homie, which is somewhere around here. He's right <laughs> right next to it. Sir Seruledge. Seruledge. Um, this one is clearly the better one of the two, as he's a straight up... Uh, his, his arms are swords, <laughs> and he has a really cool typing, which is fire and ghost. So both of these being new fire types announced, you love new fire types. Um, they're always really cool. And I think they did a fantastic job with the designs overall. Aesthetica, this is really cool. He's got his kind of like knight thing going on. Um, of course, Fire and Ghost is another unique typing. It's not entirely new as we do have uh, Chandelure, which is, um, I think, yeah. You got Ch Chandelure is the Fire Ghost type. This thing also has the Flash Fire ability. Um, it's flaming great swords absorb absorb life energy. So I'm thinking th this one seems like it's going to be more of an offensive one. His arms are straight up swords, and uh, a move several can learn bitter blade. So bitter blade is a fire physical move that gathers and lingering gathers the lingering regrets of the fallen into several edges swords, allowing it to focus that bitterness into a slashing attack. Sword then absorbs life energy from wounds they made, and the user's HP is restored by up to half of the damage taken by the target. Um, so that's a pretty powerful move in terms of competitive. You know, anytime you can uh, can get health back. I imagine this guy's probably going to be a more fragile uh, attacker. But one thing that is really cool is that we don't have a lot of, you know, physical ghost types, physical fire types in general. Um, so interesting to see what this thing's going to do with access to its move pool or whatever it gets uh, as a physical fire ghost type. So it, this one, in, in my opinion, is a little bit more unique because... You know, we don't have a, a physical fire ghost type. So that's one thing that's going to be really interesting and different with this guy. Um, but I really enjoy the design in general. Prefers close quarters combat and isn't above using tactics such as sneak attacks and surprise attacks to win a battle. Sucker Punch, Shadow Sneak uses its quick movements to capitalize on its opponent's blind spot. So it's going to be a really fast Pokemon, which is really cool. Um, again, we're hopefully not going to see a repeat of freaking Gen 7 where everything is slow as hell. Um... But my dude with the blades is probably my favorite of the reveal. Uh, last but not least, we got to see the absolute legend, which is Cloth. <laughs> uh, it's a new crab Pokemon, which, of course, we needed a new crab Pokemon. You know, why wouldn't we? Um, so this thing is a pure rock type. Now, unfortunate that it's just pure rock type, not the greatest, uh, not the greatest typing in general uh, in terms of competitive. But the one thing that we do get access to see is... A new ability. So it gets Anger Shell or Shell Armor. Um, Anger Shell is the new ability that we're going to take a look at, which is great. Um, this is what's... I, I think this is probably what's going to save this Pokemon competitively. It gets Anger Shell, making it its first appearance. Let's go. Uh, so when its HP drops to half or less, the Pokemon gets angry. This lowers its defense and special defense stats, but boosts its attack, special attack, and speed stats. Um, so this is essentially a Shell Smash, just as an ability, now depending on the bulk of this Pokemon, if you're able to even live attacks, 
Um, which I imagine being a rock type is going to be relatively bulky. Luckily, it doesn't get any four times weaknesses, but rock being its its soul typing isn't great uh, for you know, coverage or being able to take many attacks. Um, but I mean, here we see him taking an attack from an Azumarill. Um, but yeah, Anger Shell I think is going to be really cool. If this thing has enough speed to be able to capitalize on getting that speed boost to be able to then outspeed a lot of things, I think it could be relatively viable. Um, I mean, maybe this thing even gets access to the move Shell Smash as well. You get a Shell Smash up, take an attack with that lower defense with a Focus Sash, then boom, you get basically another free Shell Smash. So um, pretty just pretty interesting as another Crustacean Pokemon that's going to be... I could see this thing being a sweeper. I don't know, it's rock type might hold it back the ambush pokemon um i don't know about the design of my dude he's kind of kind of strange looking i feel like he's just kind of a basic crab there's not really a whole lot going on kingler kind of has you know similar and probably a little bit cooler but i don't know he's cloth he's fucking cloth man he's pretty he's an interesting dude he's got some powerful claws as the name <laughs> Uh, implies but i'm really excited about the new anger shell ability i wonder if there's going to be other pokemon that get access to this is this just going to be uh, specific to cloth who knows um but that's pretty much the that's pretty much the gist of the pokemon that we saw today um let me know what you guys thought if you if you thought it looked good i think they did a really good job with this trailer i think that everything they've come out with so far has been uh been pretty good I'm, i've been relatively happy with the the new pokemon that are coming out and as a competitive battler standpoint um, I'm hopeful for a lot of these being, you know, viable mods to use. But anyways, yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.